Good afternoon. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. We are now listening to Herbie Mann. The beat goes on. And the back of the album is all jacked up, so I don't know what the songs are. <laughs> so, that, so maybe it'd be something I remember. We'll see. I haven't shuffled anything. We're using a new deck today. I got this deck to go with this deck. This is this is the sister deck to that deck. And I'm also going to be using this deck. I'm going to be using this deck. And I'm going to be using this deck. And probably a few others if I decide to pull something out. Because there's still a few decks that I have. Um at my disposal that I didn't put away. I wasn't sure what energies, you know, what was gonna come up with the reading. Um, but I wanna thank everybody for stopping by. Hoping you all are doing well. Oh yeah, we're gonna use this one too, most. And I haven't used this deck in a while. So we're gonna pull this one out. Um, and then we'll talk about what a muse is. Because I had to, you know, your inspiration. That's what gets you, helps you be you. Your inner voice. I think that's pretty much what it is. Yeah, your inspiration. Whatever it is that inspires you to do things. That's, that's what your muse is, pretty much. The deck is gorgeous. The card quality is on point. Just like this deck. They kept it, they kept, still kept it 100. Um, I don't pull this deck out all the time because everybody uses this deck. Everybody uses it. But every now and then, I will pull it out. But since I bought the sister deck, I will pull it out to use it because they actually play well together because I actually did my own personal reading with them. Oh, wrong hand. And um, the message was quite... I, it was what I needed to hear. Um, it's pretty good. So um, we'll see how this goes for the collective. What is your muse telling you? I think that's what I'm going to be calling these. I'm going to be having certain type of readings. And I'm, I'm still getting it together how I want to do this. Because I have more decks coming. Um, I've been inspired to... Um, I've been instructed to get certain decks for certain reasons. Some of the decks I have will not be on my channel. Um, they're only going to be brought off for personal readings. Um, but a lot of the decks that I, you know, put on my channel, I got I have more than this. It's just the, what I decide to show at that certain point. Um, and it depends on um, what message you know, what type of reading the person is getting. It depends on what kind of cards that come out. Um, if you really want to know a who, what, when, where, and why, the hoodoo. Hoodoo. Um, they, tell, they tell it all. They tell it all. They tell everything. Um, I like that deck. But it's not for the faint-hearted. The energies are very, very, very very potent and if you don't know what you're doing it might take you where you don't want to go um, I'm just I'm just saying oh yeah I've shuffled this deck but I'm still you know there's still some some of the deck some of the cars are still to, you know, not fully, this, this deck is not fully mixed up yet. I can tell you that. But the messages that come out are, are good. It's not like you're going to see all one soup or anything like that, but. I'm gonna cut them too. Nope. Up. Oh, K. 
came out, so there's gonna that's I'm gonna keep it. That's a message. We'll see what else is coming out. This deck isn't as this deck is better. All right. I think I have a few more decks that I need to shuffle up. I'm going to keep them. Um, should have left it alone. Um, anytime a car pops out while I'm shuffling like that, that's part of the story. I didn't really pay attention to those cards, but I can tell you on uh, Five of Cups, somebody is sad. Some kind of sadness um, going on. Um, let's see. I'm almost done. Almost done. Like, I want to welcome you again to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. You know, I, I think I'm going to continue to shuffle on camera because a lot of times people don't think that that you sh people shuffle on their on their channels and we do well i do um we shuffle before it's very sometimes i don't shuffle on camera and probably if i don't shuffle on camera it's because that takes a lot of time see i'm already at almost seven minutes of shuffling need this deck I will if something negative comes out I'll use this so I can find out what it is and deal with that all right Okay, I got another deck here, but I'm not using that one. I know I'm not using the gold there. All right. All right, let's, um, let me move some cards and things, get organized. I look so unprepared, but I'm prepared. It's just that I'm getting things out of the way. All right. I don't know what this music is about, but first things first. Since this is my first time using this deck on camera, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do Five on top, five on bottom. Five on top for Divine Masculine. Five on the bottom for Divine Feminine. We'll do it that way. And then this underlying message here is going to go for them as well. Um, let's get it started. And I have five cards for Divine Masculine. Five cards. go i'll talk about him in a minute after i do divine feminine whatever he's dealing with he's awakening he's awakening um i will be using the book because these some of these uh cards have different meanings Divine Feminine. Can I have five cards for Divine Feminine? Mm. Okay. One more 
please. She walked away. Her, her muse is telling her to walk away. And Divine Masculine, I need to write that down. <sighs> Next time. Divine Masculine is awakening, but Divine Muse is telling him he's awakening, but Divine Feminine is being told to walk away. She's walking away from something. Um, we'll figure out what that is, whatever it is in a moment. Let me, let's, let's uh, look at the story. Muse of Voices. So I'm thinking that's air. This deck is kind of weird. Voices. Yeah, this is air sign. So, Muse of Voices is the truth. Speaking the truth. Yeah, this is air. Speaking the truth. Light with me, the world on truth, sweet drop of trust ignite flight with me and all your you our youth our sacred will speak right so there are some something needs to be spoken about communicating truth intuitive knowing integrity directness honest leadership diplomacy finding spiritual truth and purpose bird's eye view blending strategy with intuitive knowing Avoiding manipulation. Okay. There's some truth coming out. Okay. There was some type of celebration going on. I don't know if it was the slipping and sliding, ducking and hiding kind, or, you know, just fair, you know, basic um, celebrating. And... Okay, it probably was because there's somebody here in their emotions about a three of cups situation. So somebody was in their emotions about it. So somebody was slipping and sliding, ducking and hiding. We'll find out because the truth, something about the truth. And here's the... Uh, king of um swords the same as the muse of swords so there's going to be some type of clarity clarity wisdom i'm gonna pull that one out because i want to see clear thinking intelligence logic rules strong communicator and leader truth and proof blending mental and spiritual pursuits bravery and courage so because somebody's upset somebody's sad they're sad there it's a lot of cups out here so they're looking out to see how they can you know what move they're making next All right, so that's what this that's what's on top. This is the truth is gonna come out about this three and four cup energy with the king of swords because somebody is sad because here's three, four, five of cups. Yeah. Yep. So there was a three-party situation with the King of Swords. With the King of Swords and their sadness about it. And Divine Feminine was looking at she, looking at it. It's time for her to make some other, other moves. All these cups in this five of cup. Oh no, wait a minute. One, two, three, four. One cup is over there. She's saving her own cup for herself. But the mother cups is gone. She's poured them down. She poured them down this. Whatever that is. A hole in the ground. Okay. So. Divine Masculine. Has Ace of Voices. He wants to speak. 
He wants to speak and turn the wheel. Turn the wheel. Let me turn the wheel. And this is three of material. So he wants to work with somebody. And I think this is on the earthly plane. He's looking for a lot of stuff right now. Um, any inspirations? Mm. So. He has some clarity about the situation. Give me a second. I got to pause this. I'm going to turn the record over. Yeah, he, there's some clarity about a situation. And he knows that it's going to affect his will of fortune. Gonna affect his destiny, and so what he wants to do he wants to collaborate with somebody, he wants to work with somebody. Because he's hoping for a positive new beginning. Hmm. After being stuck. After being stuck and bound. By a situation. These readings are all blowing together this this divine masculine was stuck and this energy of slipping and sliding ducking and hiding this is what it is and so he's gaining clarity because he wants to move this wheel and collaborate with somebody hoping for a new abundant beginning after feeling stuck after slipping and sliding ducking and hiding now divine feminine it's the magician. She creating her own thing. But she's not. She's not moving forward. She's not moving forward. With divine masculine. She's not moving forward with him. Because she's in control of her emotions. She's holding her emotions. Holding on to him. She's holding on to him. But she is um, wishing, wishing for things to change. I'm going to read it. I'm just going to read it intuitively for now. And like I said, this is a new deck to me. And so, if I, excuse me if I'm moving. And here we go with this. Even though it's a new deck, don't mean that I don't know what I'm doing. Quit bothering me. Every time I burp or belch, there's somebody trying to stop me from talking about about it. The overlying situation was the slipping and sliding, ducking and hiding and the muse divine masculine's muse is saying, why is you acting like this? You weren't made to be this way. You know, whatever energy kept you bound, you need to get out of this energy. You need to look at other options instead of slipping and sliding, ducking and hiding because all it's doing is keeping you and your emotions, you and your counterpart and your emotions. Because this is divine masculine. This is him. This is divine feminine. She ain't paying. She's not paying attention. If you look at that, he looking at her, but she ain't looking at him. She like, I won't say it, but F you, bump you. She not, she not looking at him. 
Cause she know he was he was here. See, he looking at that. Yeah, he looking. He's looking back on this. Cause that's what it looks like. He's looking back on it. He's looking back on what he was doing. And she know he doing it. She looking that way. He looking the other way. She's in her emotions. And so they both. Oh, I thought that record was scratched. Um, they're both looking out the window at new possibilities. They're both holding on to a wine. Now, whether or not that this this is they're moving together passionately or what, I don't know. Um, yeah. Let's keep it moving. Now that we know. Yeah, Divine. Let me look at that. Her mag this book of the magician is, I like it. She's manifesting. She's manifesting, connecting to the four elements. She's doing everything. She's steering clear of manipulation and the misuse of power. Yep. And, you know, she'd be able to seek the truth. And whatever that is, she's not, but she's not moving. She's not moving forward. The chariot is in reverse. The chariot has stopped. She parked it. She's not looking at the divine masculine. Because she's working on her own emotions and healing herself from divine masculine's foolishness and fuckery. Slipping and sliding, ducking and hiding. I'll show it to you another way. Divine masculine is has gained clarity on the situation. And divine feminine has said, I'm I'm gonna mani um, manifest my own new beginning. Um, Divine Masculine Wheel is trying to turn the wheel and Divine Feminine has stopped it. He has stopped it. Divine Masculine wants to collaborate with Divine Feminine because he knows she's his lover. But you know that's what he wants. That's the that's the current energy. It's in the middle. It's current energy. Divine masculine wants a new abundant beginning, and divine feminine is working on her emotions, holding on to her own emotions. It's interesting. Where I I should show it to you this way. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yep. I'll show it in a minute. And Divine Masculine is moving away from this in his head energy. And Divine Feminine is wishing she's on a star. So let's back it up again. I'm going to show you something else. Because this is about Divine Masculine. This muse. Truth. The truth is coming out. Um, this Three of Cups. Um, Divine Masculine is aware where is it at he's aware he has gained clarity on his slipping and sliding ducking and hiding and divine masculine i mean divine feminine is in her she's the magician she's moved away she like okay whatever i know you i know you did that and divine masculine is the king and king of sword energy because he, he's trying to gain clarity to make the will move. But Divine Feminine is in her King of Sword energy and she has stopped the will, stopped the chariot. She stopped it. Um, Divine Feminine is in her emotion. She's, you know, about things 
even though Divine Masculine, he wants to collaborate with her, with Divine Ma Feminine and her lovers, but Divine Feminine is not. She ain't thinking about that. You see her face, she like bump this. Um, Divine Feminine, they both, they both are in their emotions. Divine Masculine wants a new abundant beginning. And Divine Feminine is holding tight to her emotions. She's in her emotions, but she's not showing. She's not showing her cards. So they both are looking out the window at new opportunities, new situations. And this has Divine Masculine in his head. And Divine Feminine is wishing on a star. Where can I go next? Yep, that's what's going on. So we're going to clarify at this point. Um, yeah, can I have three cards for a divine mask? Three cards. That's too many. I'm not taking them. I'm trying to slip. One more. I'll take that one, but I won't take the others. All right. Divine Masculine has new clarity, and this new clarity, he wants to to a cup divine feminine he wants he wants to work with her he wants to be with her even though there were some hidden things going on and so because he knows that he wants to uh, transform he wants to die and rebirth he wants to go he wants to transform and because he wants to transform he you know this is going to allow him to go back into his childhood to work through some things this might be a part two reading we'll see I'm not sure yet uh, what about this wheel? Why is, he wants the wheel to turn. He wants the wheel to turn. He passionately, he wants to be in his passions and he wants to move away from the backstabbing. And he wants to move away from being selfish, not looking at the situation. Because he wasn't looking at the situation. He was not looking at this at all he was just on his own selfish whims and he's hoping by doing so this will allow him to have a new passionate beginning and about this collaboration what's going on with this collaboration he don't want to be out in the cold it's the reverse because it's not giving him his Ten of Pentacles. So he's walking away from that. He's walking away from that. He knows Divine Feminine is in her emotions about him slipping and sliding with these other people. Um, yeah. She, he knows this. Even though he wants to work with her. And he wants he doesn't want to be out in the cold. He wants to have his ten of pentacles. So he's going to work on his pentacles a little faster. Hoping she'll change her mind. He wants to be abundant. He wants to be with her. He considers her his queen of pentacles. So, this ace of inspiration, this ace of, which is considered ace of pentacles. I need one more card. I got more than that. He has a tower moment. This being said, he has a tower moment. He's having a tower moment. And so he's walking away. 
He's walking away from his flame and everything. Yep, he's walking away. To work on his passions. He wants to be able to celebrate. And he wants to be king of pentacles. That's what he wants. So he's walked away. They both they both have kind of walked away. They ain't paying attention to each other. Um, and whenever he, you know, he's hoping when pigs fly, he can get back with divine feminine. But right now, that's not what's going on right now. Um, he's he, And he's not happy about it. He's in his head about it. So, he's in his emotions about this situation. He's in his emotions about it because he knows what he did was a bird caused a burden to divine feminine. And he knows she's looking at other options. So he's trying to move away get out of the energy that he was in that caused this situation in the first place. Because he knows she know. Divine Feminine knows that he was slipping and sliding, ducking and hiding. So, Divine Feminine is in her magician energy. Can I have three cards? I have three cards. She's studying. She is on her grind. She not. She's, you know, all these light bulbs are coming up. All this clarity is coming up of what Divine Masculine has been up to. And so she is working on her own clarity for things he knows she he knows about this queen of wands situation give me a second i'll be right back i'm back different album here we go putting it together let's see Yeah, Divine Feminine is in her ma um, magician energy. She is studying. She has learned what has happened with the slipping and sliding, and ducking and hiding. And so she's learning, you know, reinventing herself. And I have another two cards. To turn her will she's turning her will and she you see how she's on there she's balancing out herself the studying she's going to study and learn how to balance out and turn her wheels of fortune and she got lots of them and she's going to make a passionate new decision concerning what whatever it is she's learning Cause she's the she knows she the high priestess. And what about this reverse chariot? Reverse chariot. Hmm. She ain't offering um she's not offering emotion new emotional beginning she's not offering that because she knows there are people fighting about this slipping and sliding ducking and hiding and um yeah you see how they all they all fighting about it that's divine masculine trying to get to it, but these people are trying to get up there too. They are trying to get there too. 
slipping and sliding, ducking and hiding. This is the this is a bullshit card. This is the person that know they doing some dirt. She knows, and so she cut her emotions off. And by her doing that, this will allow her to be happy on her own. She's gonna do her own thing because she knows. She's stopping the wheel. She's this is this is her alone time. She's gonna celebrate herself. Whereas she knows that he was celebrating with someone else. She's gonna celebrate her own self. About this lover. By doing, focusing on herself, this will allow her to heal this situation with Divine Masculine. And there he is, the King of Wands. So she's going to go within. She's going to go within and think about how she want to, oh, it's the wish. Mm. She's going within and when she comes back out, she's going to balance out her emotions. Even though this is somebody, so if Divine Masculine comes back, there's going to be some justice taking place. Let me look at all of the cards because I didn't know I had all that many. Healing deep meditation balancing out she's going to balance out how she responds to divine masculine when he comes back because she knows justice is coming justice is taking place going to take place passionately and so, because she is the king, she's in her muse of emotion. She's controlling her emotions, of, you know, allowing her emotions not to be abused. She's doing that because she knows Divine Masculine was dealing with a snake. And that's her cup. She knows that. She knows that. She knows that. And she knows that there wasn't an even give and take. You see how all these pentacles are all out here? They're all different sizes. Yeah. There was no even give and take. And whatever was going on. And it affected the world, her world. And even though it affected, it made her sad because this is under is right under her sadness. Um, she's gonna get out of out of the deep sadness. Yeah, that's interesting. I never thought about that. I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, because she knows you reap what you what you sow. And this is divine masculine. He's reaping. I don't know what he's sowing in there, but he's reaping it. And so, what is the energy with the star? Interesting. Something about the lover. What Divine Mask am I asking for? A new abundant beginning that will make them both abundant 
Because she's, she's abundant already. But he wants to be abundant. And he knows she's abundant. He knows this. I'm just going to talk about it. Um, Divine Feminine is looking at how she going to respond to this Three of Cups situation. Divine Masculine knows that he been doing some fuck shit. And she knows it. She wants justice with this um that's caused her sadness. Nope, that caught um that messed with her emotions. She wants justice because she she knows about this three of cups. She knows about it. Some justice is gonna come. And the sadness affected the world. It affected the world and it affected the give and take. Um, she knows it was a snake situation. She knows that he was dealing with people that were not. He was in devil energy. I'm surprised that did not pop up. And so she's looking at her options because she knows she is the empress. But she knows Divine Masculine wants this new abundant beginning in the relationship. He wants a new beginning. Um, she's clarity. She has the clarity. Both of them popped up. She's clear. She knows. She looking at the whole, look how she, she got her hand on her chin. Like, mm-hmm. I fully understand. And she got her hand on the hilt of that sword. So I don't know, Divine Masculine may not want to come around. Um, he needs to be very careful. Um, the devil didn't come up, but I'm going to pull a card, one for her and one for him. This may be a part two. I don't know. We'll see. Um, what kind of energy was Divine Masculine in? Divine Masculine, Divine Masculine was being fake. His emotions were not real. So that allowed him to get into this three, you know, three cup emotion. He's gaining clarity on that. He's gaining clarity on it because, like I said, he was not hiding. He was hiding who he really was. He was being very fake. And what energy was divine feminine in? What energy was she in? What energy was divine feminine in? She kept putting things off today for tomorrow. If I do it today, I won't have to do it tomorrow. You know, if I if I don't deal with it today, maybe I'll deal with it tomorrow. So she knew that he was in this energy, but she wasn't she wasn't dealing with it. She wasn't dealing with it. She was hoping, you know, whatever. She was not consistent on what she needed to do. And she too was hiding who she really was by being in this energy. They both, they both were hiding their true self. Both were. Um, this energy, I'm going to pull a moon card for each one of them. Can I have a card for divine? Oh, you got a few. Divine Masculine is, he's ex, should expect a powerful change. And he knows that his commitment is being tested. And it's being tested because of him. He, he did some fuck shit. Um, and Divine Feminine is being told to take time to breathe out. Take time to breathe out. Don't let the past, your past, um, hold you back. Um, interesting. 
Walking away. Walking away from what? She's they're telling her they're telling divine feminine not, you know, to take time to breathe out. And divine masculine knows his commitment is being changed because there's a walking away. And that's a woman. That's divine feminine. Because he's already here. I don't know what she's walking away from. Um, I'm not going to use this right now, but, um, What energy should Divine Masculine be in right now to help? He should be focusing on getting himself right and dealing with the shadow side, which is the slipping and sliding, ducking and hiding. That's what his muse is telling him. And what should Divine Feminine be doing? She should be working on herself. Working, working on the things that she likes. But have compassion for Divine Masculine. You know. She knows that this is double energy that he's dealing with. And they both need to go out into nature. They both need to go into nature. Um, all right. Third eye vision. Reclaim your mind. Yeah, divine masculine needs to needs to work on some things because he's easily swayed. He's easily swayed. He, his third eye needs to be open. And maybe that's what's happening when he goes through the um the re, you know this transformation he's going through. Eternal union. He's hoping that he's getting this with divine feminine. And if she don't come back, I guess he'll get somebody new. Or he'll be with the person he slipped and slid, he was slipping and sliding with. He needs to seek clarification on this situation. And what does Divine Feminine need to work on? What, is, what messages are coming up for her? Desire to change. She's taking the mask off. Awaken to spirit. Spirit is, is, is giving her all these intuitive messages and things that's allowing her to know when this fuck shit going on. Because then she can just move away from it. And because she knows it's saying illuminate the shadow, focus on the solution. So, like I said, she knows that there was some stuff going on because it affected her. She was triggered by it. She knows that he was slipping and sliding, ducking and hiding. She knows it. And he knows it. He knows that she knows. But she needs to work on a solution for herself. Not for him. For herself. Because right now, she's in between worlds. She's in her emotions yet on the earthly plane and it's she's she's making new choices she's going in like i said remember i told you she was um she's studying so she's 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 moving in a new direction and by moving into that new direction she's going to be able to move forward with an open mind galactic healing 
she'll be able to move forward. She won't be looking back. She won't be looking back. Um, I need another deck to explain clarification for something. Um, what does Divine Masculine need to know? messages for him um possess self-confidence yeah he needs to do that because when you don't have self-confidence you do the fuck shit you do that kind of stuff because you're easily swayed by people and you don't feel confident so you just do things without thinking he needs to understand his thoughts creates his reality. So he was thinking about what he did before he did it. Um, his beliefs are right for him. You know, we're not trying to tell him to change his beliefs. He knows love can be his energy when he's in the right energy. Worry is a wasted emotion, so he needs to not worry about that. And he needs to be of service to others, not to himself. Because this, all this happened because of selfishness. And death is only an illusion. He's learning. Or he will be learning soon. What does divine feminine need to know? It's one. But she's being told to let go of her ego. Oh, she has to. Be herself. Take the mask off. And take responsibility for her actions. Her, her inability to speak up is what prolonged this situation. I want to ask. I need. I'll use this one. Can I have a final message? A final message on this situation. A final message. Can I have a final message? Whatever it is, they, the magician is here to help them out. Spirit is sending the magician. Um, there is going to be a change. There's going to be some type of change. And this change is going to allow wealth to come into the picture. And it's going to, they're going to get back together. There's going to be some type of way that the union comes to them. But there right now, there is competition. Somebody is competing for Divine Masculine's time. And so they both need to go within. They both need to go within and figure out how, what's going to happen, happen because looking at it without looking at this bottom card looking at the situation divine feminine is saying deuces she's done she's done with divine masculine she is done with him but he don't want her to be done he's she's seen what he's done and she said i've had enough but spirit is bringing the magician into the mix and when he when spirit comes, it's gonna help balance this out, this mental clarity. It's gonna give mental clarity to this situation. Alrighty. This is it for this reading. Um, pretty cool for the new me using this new deck, um, the muse. 
Is that what it's called? It's called, yep, the Muse Tarot. So it's a great reading for this. So um, I'll be bringing it out again. I, you know, I'm still working with these cards because they're, they're different than what I'm used to. So hopefully this message was something that you all could work with. Um, you know, you all take care. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with a Z. Peace.